Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be going over what is a character arc. Do you guys have any questions about like, what should my character sound like? What should my character be? How should my character act? And how should my character begin and end? Well, in this video, I got you covered. Character arc is the transformative journey that a character undergoes throughout the course of the story. This will include the internal or the external changes, uh, whether they get a personal growth or a decline. So this will happen through the plots that shape and challenge the character. Uh, this is shown through um, the choices and the decisions that the character must make or what happens to the character. So if a character loses someone that they love, obviously that is going to change how they are from that moment until the, the new moment. Uh, and so those plots give them challenges and that will shape the character, whether it's a personal growth or it could be a decline or even it might not even change the character at all. It depends on the situation and it depends on the character. This character arc uh, usually helps bring the audience or the uh, reader viewer uh, closer to the character or it brings them further away and makes the, the audience or the reader really hate that character, right? Like a villain, sometimes you just really hate them. You're just like, I just want them gone. Uh, that's what a character arc does. Uh, it'll either help us root for the character or hope that they have a massive decline and exit the story um, and get what's coming to them. Again, with that first part I just said, this will also help uh, the audience or the viewer celebrate the victories, be saddened by the downfall or emphasize with all these struggles and the challenges that they're faced with. Uh, we help bring us closer with the character, um, whether the author, right, the writer wants the audience to root for them or to be totally against them that just depends on obviously the character whether they're evil or not uh and then that's pretty much what helps us you know root for a character right so when you're watching iron man he's being beat up and we're just like oh no we're, we're all you know we feel bad for him we see that struggle and then he prevails so we are able to celebrate the victory that iron man gets but if you haven't seen endgame sorry but at the end of endgame when Iron Man and dies saving the world, we are here saddened with, it's not really a downfall because he saves the entire universe, but we're saddened because a love's character is now gone. So I have another video I'll be posting later on uh, that will touch upon this line right here. But this line says, the character arc serves as the beating heart of the story. And the videos I'm going to be making next time is pretty much, can you have... A story without stakes and the answer is yes because of this right here if you have a very compelling character there doesn't have to be stakes because the character can could be the actual story around them right we can do, delve deeper into this person and and see their ups and downs even without stakes so remember this the character is the beating heart of the story I'm gonna be jumping into four of the primary Character arcs. So the first one here is transform, right? Uh, you watch the character transform. The next one will be is kind of fits into this. The next two, uh, positive change, negative change, and the last one, like I said previously, is a flat character arc. This is creative writing lessons. This is where I give you tips and tricks to writing a successful story, especially for beginners. If you're loving this content, don't forget to like and subscribe this video so I can keep pumping out these amazing videos all right let's continue the video so the transformational character arc shows the character again right here positive and negative so i have both right we have a positive change and we have a negative change which i'll dive deeper in the next part of this video uh, but what it does is going to show how the cha uh, character changes drastically throughout the film or if it's like a trilogy like star wars which i'll show an example of you know you'll see the character arc change right and that's what a transformational character arc is a couple of examples of transformational character arc will be walter white tony stark and we can even add anakin skywalker in there um so you can tell the negative and the positive right walter white negative tony stark positive anakin skywalker prequels negative the original trilogies positive a positive change character arc 
pretty much shows the character uh, at the overall change in a positive way, right? All the struggles and all the flaws, the challenges, lead the character to becoming a better person at the end of it, and which is a positive change from when they first started. Uh, let me jump into an example right now. So for this example, uh, I'll be talking about it in the next slide, but for here, uh, the character could start off really selfish, just all about them, not caring about anybody else. Maybe they seem a little more egotistical. Uh, but as the story continues, as they struggle with the inciting incident, right, that can propel them into a positive way, starting off really quick in the story. Uh, or all the other little plots, all other challenges and stakes that are there could show the character go from that selfish person to become this guy who's willing to sacrifice everything uh, for others. The best example uh, that I'm going to show right now for positive change is Tony Stark, right? Iron Man. When you first watch the very first movie, and even when you read the comics, uh, he is shown as this egotistical playboy billionaire philanthropist that just is like, yeah, it's all about me. I got the money. I got the brains. I got the mansions. I got the girls. Like, you see all this, right? And then he goes out, and he's trying to sell his weapons again to the U.S. government. And while he's doing this, after he makes the sale, the inciting incident happens where his Humvees attacked, the soldiers that protected him are killed, and he's kidnapped, and then he sees the terrorists have all his weapons. And that starts his journey from becoming this guy who just wants to sell, make money, do what he wants, to completely changing a 180 where now he's building his own suit that only he can control because he can't trust anybody else. And he starts making a change for the better, saving the people overseas. And then, of course, like in every movie, he pretty much almost gives his life in every single movie of his and in Avengers and, of course, in Endgame. He's a guy that sacrifices his life to save the universe. Now, how much more positive can you be from a character that started off so selfish and, and, and all that other stuff, right? All right, let's jump into the negative one now. Hello there, so I have two kids books out of my four kids book series self-published on Amazon. If you want to check them out, the link will be in the description below. Uh, and if you have Kindle Unlimited, you get these books for free. Negative change character arc pretty much shows that the main character or your character succumbs to all this evil, succumbs to the obstacles and challenges, right? They're not like quote unquote strong enough to prevail to be the good guy, right? So if you think about like Obi-Wan Kenobi, all this bad stuff happens where he loses the people he loves, like Satine and, and everybody, yet he still stays good. He might not be positive, like, yay, woohoo, life, but he never goes to the dark side, unlike Anakin Skywalker. So here, the character undergoes a negative transformation, succumbing to the flaws and the destructive paths. So with that being said, they, they can't prevail from it, pretty much. They fall into this evilness for their own agendas, for something that they want, for their selfish reasons i know i kind of dived in a little bit of an example in the in the explanation of what the negative change story arc is um but another great example besides the obi-wan being like positive in anakin which i'll get a little more detail to right now is walter white right he starts off as this shy guy and he's a professor trying to change the world by making everyone smarter and doing his stuff a family man until he's sick and then he starts to fall into his egotistical mindset where he's smarter and better than everybody else. He can outthink anybody. And he becomes this egotistical drug lord. And he goes from this sweet guy to just like, who is Walter White now? You know, like, wow, what a change. And that is a negative change character arc that Walter White goes through. Being a huge Star Wars nerd... I had to throw this in here, as I already said a little earlier, hinted at Anakin Skywalker with Obi-Wan. But for Anakin Skywalker, he used to be a kid. Uh, he lost his mom, which kind of started him on the path to the dark side uh, because he felt that loss, right? Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering, as Yoda told him. Um, so what we have is Anakin Skywalker, General Anakin Skywalker, Jedi Knight. He pretty much is this guy who's saving planets, trying to protect the world. And then when he realizes he's going to lose the love of his life and his kids, then he starts to accept evil, right? The dark side to save the one he loves. And that's when he becomes Darth Vader. And then his arc went from this good guy to this 
horrible guy, and he ends up killing so many innocent people, many Jedis, and he was set on a destructive path. But if we go to the example of the positive change again, think about Darth Vader, how he went from evil in A New Hope to Empire Strike Back, and when he gets to Return of the Jedi, he's kind of already changing, getting to know his son a little bit, and then he ends up becoming good at the very end. So he does end up having another or a positive change afterwards to save his son Luke and pretty much from there the galaxy after that. So Anakin Skywalker goes from this negative to then this positive change. Obviously it's in six different movies. The first three, you know, negative. The next three are positive. Um, the originals positive. But still, he's a perfect example for both negative and positive change character art. Flat character arc is completely different than the negative and positive in the sense that the character doesn't change at all. So the reason why you have a flat character arc is to kind of show a, right here I put the dynamic counterparts uh, for the world or even to show for the villains, right? You want to show uh, the impairing uh, stability of the different characters. Like maybe somebody had a same effect to them, right? Maybe this orphan had their parents killed off too but one becomes evil so that nobody will feel that pain again where the the evil one right will be like i want everybody to suffer like me so maybe that's why that character is there to show like hey this is the this is the the complete opposite of me right but you could also use a flat character arc to as i was taught is to show the character unchanged but showing that he's trying to change the way people look at the world. Like no matter what's going on, we gotta help each other out. We gotta be there for everyone else. No matter how evil this world is, we can't be evil. So they don't change, but then the other people in the story, or even the world views of others will change because of your character who never changes, okay? So let me give you an example in this next slide, okay? I know my picture is so big in this, so I am going to disappear, and then I'm going to explain it to you right now, okay? <laughs> so for the flat character, the main character I like to use for this is Steve Rogers, who is Captain America, right? So when you're watching, he never changes, right? No matter what's going on, he's always like, I can do this all day. You know, no matter what, we got to do what's right. We need to protect the people who can't be protected. We can't do what's wrong. Even in Civil War, when it's like, hey, we all have our own rights. Like, why are we going to give up our rights? Because the world is scared of us. So he always does what is right. But he is there, and at least for the first Captain America, is to show the difference between him and Red Skull. They both got the serum, right? The super soldier serum. But the difference between the two is that Captain America, Steve Rogers, already had a mindset of, you know, we got to we got to stop bullies. No matter where these bullies come from, we got to stop them. And that's all I care about. You know, I don't like bullies because he's been bullied his whole life. Whereas you have Red Skull, he's kind of just like, I want power. I want power. So they both get the same. Um, they have the same symptoms and stuff or same serum, excuse me. But then they have opposite views. So that is why Steve Rogers, Captain America is here is to show like, hey, we both got the super soldier serum, but. He does it to save the world. He does it to help people. Red Skull just wants to look for power and control everything, be the master of the universe. So with that being said, you can see the difference. That's where you do the right, the opposite, right? The counterparts of each other to show the way people's views on the world could be different. And it's only all in your mind. But what also I like is that Steve Rogers stays positive throughout the whole thing. Yes, when his best friend Bucky Barnes, he presumes dies, He's sad, but guess what? He's jumping right back into the world, trying to do what's right, trying to stop these bullies. And that's why he stays the same. But guess what? Everyone else, like Tommy Lee Jones' character, he changes. He becomes positive. Before he's negative, 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 right? Negative Nancy. And now he's this positive guy. Like, we're, we're going to stop this war. We're doing it. Peggy, she, she kind of stays the same, but she sees him. She roots for him. And everybody starts to change their own character arc by seeing Captain America's flat character because he is giving them positive outlooks on everything. So then everybody who's negative, everybody who just thinks of whatever, they all start to change. They all start to shape and see the world differently. But guess what? Captain America Steve Rogers, his character arc stays the same. He's still willing to sacrifice his life from the very beginning when he is a nobody skinny to the very end 
when he's buff with all his muscles, super strong, and he has the super soldier, he's still willing to sacrifice his life, and he does at the end of it. He freezes, but he still does. And so he doesn't have a character change, right? He stays the same. Everybody else in the movies, even Tony Stark, when he they all change meeting Steve Rogers. And that's what's so important about a character arc is to get other people to see a world in whatever view that these flat character arcs have, whether it's positive or negative. It's their beliefs are unchanged. They're solid. But everybody else's character does change. So when you look at that, you want to know, like, hey, if I'm going to use a flat character arc, that person's not going to change, but everyone around them is. The whole world will change, right? Like at the end of Captain America, people running around with his shield and stuff like he changes everybody. He gives hope for people. And that's what's so important about Captain America is he's a symbol for hope throughout all of World War II. And be, that is so strong because everybody else gets hope because he's been hopeful from the very beginning. And that is what a flat character arc is. So I'm going to give you a question of the video. I know I'm in front of it, so I'm going to disappear right now. But the question is, does your character have a positive or a negative change? Or, like Captain America, do they stay the same? Are they flat? Uh, I want to know. Let me know down in the comments what kind of character you're working on. You know, you can give me a quick little, quick brief summary if you want about them. But I want to know, is your character changing for the positive, negative, or are they staying the same? Uh, one of my uh, stories, here's an example. Um, my character, uh, I use my own name because I'm really bad when it comes to names of my character. So if you guys want to help me with that, I do go live so you can <laughs> chime in some names. But his name is Justin. He's going to be in my uh, Four Elements comic book. And he begins with like uh, as an orphan just like I don't want to like save the world. I just want to be there for my friend. My friend's the hero. He does everything and I'm going to be there to protect him because no one else is. But guess what? Towards the end of the comics or the movie or whatever I'm going to turn it into – he completely changes where he is ready and willing to sacrifice himself, but it's not for the world, but it's for his best friend. So what do you guys think? Is that a flat character arc? Cause he's still doing the same thing. He doesn't change. Or is it something positive? Is, is he doing a lot more at the end of it? I want to know. Let me know. I hope this video was really informative on what a character arc is. Cause a character arc really is, I feel it's more important than a uh, story plot arc. Because if you, you can have a great plot, but if your characters are weak, no one's really going to root for them. No one's really going to want to pay attention to them. But if you have an amazing, well-developed character, my God, that will go such a long, long way when it comes to your storytelling. Um, so if you want any help with developing characters, I will have a playlist here and a video up here in the corner to show you how to develop a uh, character to work on make a better character. And uh, if you guys want any more help, just comment down below. You guys can always email me. Uh, join my Discord. I have videos on there, and I'm putting some uh, PDF worksheets for you guys to help you out uh, if you want to learn more about specific ideas and things in there. So feel free. Everything's going to be in the description below. And don't forget to hit that button right above me. Uh, subscribe so we, I can continue giving you guys this informative and important information. And remember, I'm always here for you guys. All right. I love you 3000. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye guys. May the force be with you always.